Lauren. Hi, I'm Tim. Hi, I'm Stevie. Hi, I'm Casey. And, and together, we're High Five! Yeah! Ta-da! Look what I've made. A super-duper recycled space rocket. Perfect for a trip into outer space. But if I'm going into space, I'm going to need to wear a space suit. I know. I'll make one. Hey, this rectangle-shaped box looks useful. Hmm. Well, I used it for a robot once. And I'll use it again. Okay, so I'll just step in, and there we go. Yeah, perfect, look. See, it's long enough to cover my body. Okay, wow, look at this. This long cylinder will be a perfect sleeve for my leg. So I'll just step in, there we go, and then attach. Okay, that's right, oh, and I'll grab this one. Here we go, put it down. And I'll step in, boom, 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 and then attach. There we go, legs sorted. Now for my arms. Hey, look at this. This cylinder will be a great sleeve for my arm. There we go. And this cylinder will be great for my other arm. Oh, great. All righty. Now, something for my head. Wow. Look what I found. What a discovery. An old colander makes a perfect helmet. Hmm, okay, so I've got my helmet and I've got my spacesuit. Now I'm ready for a countdown. Okay, here we go. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! On a trip to outer space To see planets, moons and stars I'm safe inside my spacesuit There goes Venus, there goes Mars Come in for a landing, take a walk outside In my spacesuit, safe and sound I've traveled far and wide Oh, wow! I can see the moon and the stars I think I'd better go for a bit of a spacewalk. But I'll keep myself attached to my space rocket with this long, springy coil. Okay, here it is. Okay, so I'll just attach it. There! Now I'm connected, I'm ready to explore outer space. Wow! This is amazing! On Earth, my spacesuit was really heavy. But out here in space, I'm weightless. I'm all floaty and light. Wow. On a trip to outer space To see planets, moons and stars I'm safe inside my spacesuit There goes Venus, there goes Mars Come in for a landing, take a walk outside in my spacesuit, safe and sound, I've traveled far and wide. Oh boy, I do love space, but I think it's time I head back to my space rocket. Here we go. See you next time, space. Bye! Little Silver Rocket, heading to outer space. Mission, the moon. Little Silver Rocket, ready for takeoff. Heading to outer space. Lift off begins, up, up and away. Higher and higher, rocket's on its way. Shh. 
Next rocket, heading to the Milky Way. Little silver rocket, ready for takeoff, heading to outer space. Lift off begins, up, up and away. Little Silver Rocket Mission, successful! Done. All right, this one's ready to go. <laughs> Welcome to Felly's Garage, and I'm Felly the Mechanic. Chop, chop! Oh, another car to fix. I wonder where the owner went. It's a very interesting car. It's round. Wow. But a car's a car. All right, first thing I need to do is check the windscreen. Oh. There is no windscreen. <laughs> I'm sure I've got a new windscreen I can put on it somewhere. Chop, chop! Oh, no, this won't do. It's the wrong shape. Hey, what's this? Oh, looks like a big fishbowl. I wonder if it belongs to this funny car. I'm Belly the mechanic, I'll fix you just right. Put a grin in your grill and a sparkle in your headlight. Buff your bumper, I'll make it shine. Put a honk in your horn, have your motor running fine. At Belly's garage, you'll be fixing style. Come in with a problem and leave with a smile. There. Funny dome-shaped windscreen. Check. Okay. It's a really funny looking car too, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it. Well, I guess I'll check the tires. <gasps> oh no, this one's broken. Hmm. Hey, what's this? <gasps> a spare in the boot. Great! <laughs> oh, and it looks like a match to me. Belly the mechanic, I'll fix you just right. Put a grin in your grill and a sparkle in your headlight. Buff your bumper, I'll make it shine. Put a honk in your horn, have your motor running fine. At Belly's garage, you'll be fixing style. Come in with a grin and leave with a smile. There. Tires. Check. <laughs> now for the fuel. Here. This must be where the fuel goes in. Oh, no. The funnel doesn't fit in the hole. Chop, chop! Hey, what's this? Rocket fuel? Purple rocket fuel? Let's give it a go. Oh, look at that. It's a perfect fit. Let's fill her up. Oop, doesn't need much. Full. <laughs> Okay, fuel, check. Well, this car service is complete. I hope the owner comes back soon. Chop, chop, Three, four, little aliens from the planet of Shrubble Up. Prepare spaceship for space flight. Zoom. Shooting through the sky in an alien spaceship. Up, up, up to the silver stars. Shooting through the sky in an alien spaceship. Zip and zoom around the planets and stars. Zoom. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I think the aliens 
just want another lap around the universe. Whee! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I guess that means yes in the language of trouble up. Hold on tight. Shooting through the sky in an alien spaceship. Up, up, up to the silver stars. Shooting through the sky in an alien spaceship. Zip and zoom around the planets and stars. We're going to visit our friends in the next galaxy. Away! <laughs> Stevie and I are in our spacesuits today, and I thought it would be a good idea if we matched some cool spacey sounds with the game that we're playing. Mm. What do we got, Tim? Um... Hmm. Hey, that's a good sound. Oh, maybe we could use that when we press the buttons on our spaceship. Great idea. We're playing a space game to find the special sound. The spacey and racy and whiz all around. Or drifty and floaty for walking on the moon. Or noisy and exciting for rocket blast off. Zoom! Okay, Tim, I'm ready to check the button. Sure. All systems go. Good. Okay. okay. Now. We just need a sound for a moonwalk. Oh, great idea. Okay, something that sounds like this. Look. Big giant floaty steps on the moon. Um, yeah, let's try this. Okay. special sounds. They're spacey and racy and whiz all around. Or drifty and floaty for walking on the moon. Or noisy and exciting for rocket blast off. Zoom! Okay, Stevie, we're all sorted for moonwalking. Mm -hmm. But what about rocket takeoff? Rocket takeoff. Yeah. Rocket takeoff. Oh. Hey, could this be the rocket ship alarm? Rocket ship alarm. Oh, it's the rocket ship alarm. The rocket ship alarm. Stevie, the spaceship's just about to take off. Okay, we need big floaty steps. Yeah. Okay, we're all ready for takeoff. Yes, we just need a countdown. Oh, yeah, a countdown. Okay, okay. Commencing countdown in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. To find the special sounds, they're spacey and racy and whiz all around. Or drifty and floaty for walking on the moon. Or noisy and exciting for rocket blast off. So, see you, Tim. See you later, Stevie. A perfect takeoff. Oh, Tim, what are you doing? Well, I've always wanted to be an astronaut in space. Oh, yeah. I'm just imagining what it would be like. Oh, yeah, that would be really cool. There'd be no weight, so you could flip and twirl. It would be awesome. Yeah, it's great to imagine, isn't it? You know what, Tim? This has given me an idea. It's time we take pretending to be astronauts to another level. Stevie. Tim. Does this mean it's time for another Fitbit tip? Yeah! Hey, Stevie. These harnesses make us feel weightless and boingy. Yep, they sure do. And that's not all, because today we're going to learn how to do a backwards flip. A backwards flip? Like in space? Just like in space. And our friends here are going to help us learn how to do it. So, the Fitbit tip is we need to bend our knees, jump up in the air, lean right back with our head, and lift our knees to our face. Okay, so we bend our knees, yep. head back, 
knees up, and then we should go over. That's right, that's right. All right, should I give it a go? Go for it, OK, here okay, we go. here I go. Go, Tim. Go, Tim. Go, Tim. Go, Tim. Go, Tim. Go, Tim. Oh, what's he doing? Whoa. Well, if I just put this in here... There we go, that should do it. Do what? What is all of this, Casey? Well, this is an old radio transceiver. Yeah, I discovered it in an old cupboard. A radio what? A radio transceiver. Well, you talk in here and you send messages out to the world. And maybe even into outer space. <gasps> send a message to outer space? No way! Well, yeah, Jats. And see this dish here? It catches the messages and brings them right here back to us. I get it. It's a talking and listening machine. Right, chats. Oh, so who are you going to talk to? Hmm, well, we could try and talk to outer space. That'd be pretty cool. Would it ever? <laughs> but, Casey, what are we going to say? Oh. Oh, I know, I know. Well, tell me, tell me. How about we send a message about where we live, our home? Oh, that is a great idea, chats. We could send a message about our home planet. Yeah. Planet Earth. The big blue skies and oceans and the amazing trees and animals. <gasps> How about we send our message about home in a song? Wow, Chats, that's a great idea. <laughs> what a team we are. Our home is an amazing place. It floats around in outer space. It's got oceans and lakes, skies are blue, trees and animals too. Did it really work? Did we really send our message into outer space? Yep, we sure did, Chats. Mm -hmm. wow. Our home song went right up into the stars. <gasps> Do you think somebody up there heard it? Oh, is there anybody listening? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure they did, Chats. But maybe we need to invite them to answer our message. Yeah, brilliant! <laughs> our home is an amazing place. It floats around in outer space. It's got oceans. Great message, Chats. I'm sure if someone is in outer space and they heard that, they'll be pretty impressed. I'm sure they'll be in touch. Yeah, maybe they'll send a message back to us. Oh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. hmm. Thank you for your space message. Your home sounds out of sight. Wow! Now that's an outer space message. <laughs> <laughs> Tracking the signal from outer space. Try and hone it in. Satellite dish up. Super satellite dish. Search of a signal from outer space. Super satellite dish. Changing direction, think I found a trace. Super satellite dish. Beep, 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 beam it back to base. Huh, think I found the signal. Sounds like someone's trying to say something to me. Hmm, no, it's gone. Try and track the signal down. Super satellite dish in search of a signal from outer space. Super satellite dish changing direction, think I found a trace. Super satellite dish beep, 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 beam it back to base. Hello? Hello? Bella here. Hey, Lauren, do you want to come and play? Oh, I'll be right over. 
Gee, that was a surprise signal. Today's hidden treasure is out of this world. When you watch the story, look out for planet Earth. We'll show you where it is at the end of the story. Once there were four astronauts on a mission to the moon and they just couldn't wait for blast off. Ready, Captain Brave? Ready, Captain Strong? Ready, Captain Adventurous? Ready. Ready, Captain Daring? I'm ready. Hmm. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off! And soon they were all flying through outer space. Ground control from all of us here. We're in outer space and the moon is near. We won't let you down, we won't get this wrong. Who'll be the first to step on the don't worry about us, cause we'll be back soon. Wow, this is amazing. I just love outer space. And soon we're going to be on the moon. Yes, but who is going to walk on the moon first? Hmm. I should be the first to walk on the moon. I am Captain Strong, after all. Oh, I think the first person on the moon should be adventurous, like me. But to walk on the moon for the first time, one must be brave. Me. Now, hang on. I think daring is a must. Therefore, it must be me. I should go. Oh, no. I want to go. No, what? I want to be the first. It's a job for someone strong. No, it's no, me. I, I want to be the first. No, me. Me. Look at me. I go. Oh, no, Come me. On. me. The astronauts just kept arguing until they remembered a great way to decide who should go first. <laughs> Scissors, paper, rock! Oh! No! It is you, Captain Daring. You will be the first man to walk on the moon. Hey, go you! Oh, best astronaut for the job. Thanks, guys! But at that moment, they realised the moon was not very far away at all. Wow! wow. It's so big. And strange. And cold. Kind of scary looking. You know, I think I might have just changed my mind. I think you should be the first to step on the moon, Captain Strong. Oh, no. I think the most important thing is definitely to be adventurous. Oh, no, no, no. It's better to be brave. No, 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 Daring. You should definitely go. I don't want to go. Oh, no, well, you go. You go. No, you go first. Oh, yeah. The astronauts all argued until their spaceship landed on the moon with a great big bump. Oh. We're here. What are we going to do now? Yeah. Who will be the first to walk on the moon? Why are we whispering? Well, I've got an idea. And you know, the astronauts all liked Captain Brave's idea very much. <laughs> We did it! This is fun! All four of us were the first to step on the moon. Ground control from all of us here. We're in outer space and the moon is here. We won't let you down. We won't get this wrong. We'll be the first to step on the moon. Don't worry about us, cause we'll be back soon. Great moonwalking, guys. So did you see our planet Earth? There it is. Well done. Ground control to astronauts. It's time to leave the moon and sing a song. Don't, 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 don't.